for most of us. Like for example, I'm 15% body fat, and then that's a struggle now losing the extra five pounds, that extra fat on the lower belly. This, it's been a struggle for me. Like this is a good question. So, how do you lose that? And this is a lot of people fall in this camp. They lose some fat, and they got that little bit extra that can never come off. So, uh, what have you been doing right now to try and get rid of that little bit? Uh, I just do cardio and mostly like upper workouts and I'm working on my legs because I don't do legs much. <laughs> well, the, the sad unfortunate truth is that everyone thinks they're going to have a six pack at 10, 15 pounds bigger than they will be. You know, it, you might look at the math and be like, okay, you know, I'm this body fat, you know, you know if so, fact so, I'm 15% body fat, if I want to get to eight, I gotta drop 7% body fat, two pounds of fat per percentage, so you know, 14 pounds of fat, so I'm 180, you know, 160, 166, I should be lean. It never works out like that. It's always less. And so the reason you don't you have that little bit of fat covering it is because you're not at a low enough body, body fat, and that's because you haven't, you know, you haven't done your cut long enough, you haven't got lean enough, or maybe you've been doing your cut, you've plateaued, so now you gotta do a maintenance period to bring your metabolism back up. You know, I used to, you know, try, I used to be in the same position where I didn't, I had that, I'd flex, I had a little bit of blurredness, a little bit of fat here. And the thing is, is that it, there's not, cardio will not fix it. Doing high intensity interval training will not fix it. Doing conditioning circuits will not fix it. Adding in more exercise will not fix it. N dialing in your nutrition, just dialing it in is what will fix it. And getting your body to a leaner state is what will get there. So you gotta, you gotta have a lower body weight. Um, you gotta get to a lower body fat percentage and then it will happen because you cannot pick where the fat comes off. And so sometimes you'll, you'll have this fat here and you'll be losing a few pounds. You're like, no, nope, the stubborn fat's still here. It's because you haven't lost the fat here, 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 and here before your body will tap into this fat. So everyone's got different fat distribution patterns. Um, some people are lucky in the sense that they store very little fat here and they have a lot of fat in their legs or you know, they have a lot of fat maybe in their chest and arms. So they, when they get down to 9% body fat, there's nothing here, but they, their arms aren't as cut. They don't have the, as much vascularity. Um, their, you know, their shoulders aren't as like rounded and sculpted. Their legs are a bit you know, puffier. So for you, you might have to get to a lower body fat than you want in order to get the fat off here. But this is just different. There's different, everyone's got different genetics, different fat distribution patterns. Uh, mine are pretty, pretty even. Um, except that my, I hold the, less, the least amount of fat in my back. So when I do a DEXA can, scan, I get 7%, and people are like, oh, look at the abs, like, you know, there's no way you're seven, you're so-and-so. If I turn and the, my flex my back, it's like, no, that's fucking seven. Um, so basically, the, there's, the answer you, that you probably don't wanna hear is you just gotta get leaner. You have to lose fat somewhere else before your body will really, really start to get into that fat. So basically, I'm, I should sacrifice my strength in order to lose that fat. But you don't, you, don't have, you don't have to get rid of the stubborn fat. You can, you can learn to, you know, learn to love that little extra. You know, I, you know it's fine. Like, you know what, I used to be so stressed about getting the five, six, you know. Sometimes it's just like, you, it, it's really what it is, it's about the V-shape. Do you have um, the waist to shoulder ratio? Do you have the V-shape? Because that's what people pick up on, that's the proportion. And you know, it's nice to have, and some people, like the people that get the really lean, the really lean abs quickly, They'll be the people that at 10% body fat, their face is like kind of chubby. They got that full rounded face. Um, whereas the people that need to get super lean to get the abs, sometimes their face will get too, too sunken in, too angular. Um, so, there's a, so sometimes it might not be getting rid of all that fat where you're gonna look your best. It might be somewhere you know, around the middle, um, but that's fine. Like, you know, you're, there's nothing wrong with that. There's different ranges of leanness that, you know, that are good. Yeah, yeah. Do sit-ups, uh, abs every day or three no, times? No, no, no. Okay. I, don't do, I do some hanging leg raises or weighted knee, knee raises. Um, I do that you know, maybe twice a week. Um, but it's not, about, it's not about training your abs. It's about getting, if, if you really want to get this down, it's about getting leaner. Getting in that deficit, losing more weight, you know, taking pounds off the scale. Um, because you're not going to be able to just lose 10 pounds of fat, gain 10 pounds of muscle at this stage. You've been training for a few years. So you got to get leaner. You got you know. Um, but if you're, if you're losing a pound a week for the next you know, 10, 12 weeks, you're gonna see that fat start to melt off. You know? But again, there's no, con there's no secret diet, secret conditioning diet that will let you just melt this fat off specifically. It's gonna be getting leaner than you want to and then losing fat in other places before it comes here. Okay, cool, no problem, no problem.
All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button, smash the like button. And secondly, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have lots of amazing new stuff coming out. And if you wanna learn my system for transforming your body, then I need to find out what is your physique type. So I made the physique quiz to find out what is your body type and how do we take you from point A to point B, that lean, chiseled Hollywood physique. So hit the link somewhere around here and I will talk to you soon. Take care.